Hey everyone, Lensman Oz here and welcome back to Engineers Life 2. I have not gone and made all those um, machines. I did find, I did buy a bolt from a trader, so I got that one. And I put it in my hammer, I wasn't sure if that's where I should have put it, but uh, I don't know. Just trying things out. Uh, Tetra's not my um, strong suite. Uh, let's see here. Uh, in becoming an engineer I was gonna go and make all these things but I I have not uh, they they're fairly straightforward I mean we could probably try and bash a couple out right now uh, iron a couple of them and a bit of copper because I need a I need to get a template components So, alright, so in terms of at immersive, like this guy was, was one we needed to do. Uh, large tank, pressurized air tank. This is another one we need to do. So, I need another mechanical component. Grab another copper and some iron plates. I don't have a ton left in the system, but I'm getting there. One of them. So, that's the air tank. Good, so we get copper coin. We're going to get copper coin. Uh, the iron drill head, I think that was the one I can buy. Let me just throw these things in here. Is that the one I can buy? I don't even have a look. Um, so obviously the the little bit of stuttering in this game is not from the Mod Colony server running because it is now shut down. So you would have seen my last Mod Colonies episode um, is the wrap up. It's it's the final. So it was all done, and that, Aussie's actually gone and shut that server down now. So stuttering is from something in this world. Thirty eight. I'd be better off just buying it. Well, just making it. It's just some iron. Uh, I've got to run a pipe from the uh, from the oil derrick over to the, uh, the thing here, tower, installation tower, and we are full of uh, product. Now, looking at it, the sulfurized diesel can actually be used in the diesel jet, and it can be used instead of biodiesel. Uh, but the gasoline, I still don't have a decent use for gasoline yet. So I'm gonna. I don't know if it's one of these items. It's really, really stuttery. Kind of wish I knew what it was. Right. Uh, jerry can is how you fill these things up too. I, I, and it has to be biodiesel. So, you know. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> so I do have the buzzsaw working. Let's make it that iron drill head. Because that's just iron and iron we can do that there's the iron drill head the steel drill head is same deal but steel there we go okay oh, i don't know if you can do the same sort of setup with the swapping out thing like we have in the buzzsaw here so let's take that out of there so the buzzsaw itself we have the blade quiver uh I did make that, didn't I? Here it is here. Here's the mining drill. Let's put the mining drill in there. We give it the steel head. I'm gonna give it the auger, the air tank. And it can take one more. What else does the pack want us to do? Probably the large tank, right? Let's make a second large tank. That I cannot remember. Let's make one. A large tank. It is going to require yet another iron mechanical component. Let's grab a copper. Um, cool. One of them. And then let's put the mining drill in. That's that guy. Mine drill head probably doesn't need to go in here, but 
coins can. Give it the tank. We've got some shaders. Let's radiant shader, micro shark shader. Let's try this one. Oop. Nice. Got a shader grab bag as well. All right. Got another micro shark one. So we now have this guy, which I think I can do this. I think that's how it was, yep. So we now have a mining drill. And um and a bustle. Some nifty little machines to just put away for the moment. Let's put cool. Uh you can have that back. Okay, so that was just another piece done. You know, that was you know a hurdle. Uh, last episode, I was working through and making um, making the bits for the the reactor. Let's just quickly do this. So, an iron and two quartz. Iron, can you guys go away? Couple. Can you get back in there? Thank you. Couple quartz. Not nine. Eight. Let's go and actually make some quartz enriched iron. Can I run? Thank you. Quick. Oh, it's working. Something's happening. Taking some power too. Hopefully this will give us the items we require. I guess the power. Wow, that's a lot of power to do that. Let this last one complete. And then I'll pick it up and we'll claim the... Uh, claim that quest. And I'll turn the diesel gen off. So it's noisy. Alright, so there's the quartz enriched iron quest that will unlock the ability for us to do um, refined storage. We're going to get some stuffs. Cool. And then that will unlock advanced storage. This one. So we just now we need to make some pro processor binding and then it'll move towards this and that and storage monitors and cables and disk drives and all the things. So let's get some green dye. Because that's what I always wanted was green dye. Alright, let's jump back to Peaceful Atom. And as I said last episode, I'm going to try and just do the basic one here. It requires us to have 22 reactor casings. So let's work on that I've got the graphite bars, I've got my controller. Um, you know, that can go in there at the moment. I'm I am running the game on peaceful again at the moment to try and see if that limits it, but I don't think it does, so I may end up switching it back. Uh, what's it called? Extreme. Okay, so extreme reactors, we're going to want some some things and some stuff. Wow. Don't want reinforced nothing. Just want some housings. All of these things are going to be needed. Okay, let's let's do this properly. Just basic reactor casing. So I'm going to casing. Basic. I need 22 of these. How many? Uh, I've just ran out of iron. I knew I'd run out of something. Oh my. None in there. Am I processing any? How are we doing? 
Some iron combs going in there. I did move some stuff around, so we're actually catching up. Though, unfortunately, I literally just ran out of iron. It's been a while since, since that's occurred. Again, unfortunate, because I've like one short, three iron short, but two iron ingots in there. I'll take them, hoping for one more to get the last item. But I know I'm going to need more iron for the next, um, the next thing. So we'll see what happens. We got that. I just need the one more iron. Shouldn't have used all that. Quartz enriched, right? Can I? I? Iron ore? Is that a thing? No, nope, just just randomite. And that could give me like anything. I don't know if there's anything else I can melt down. All right, there's our 22. Quest complete. Let me go back to Peaceful Atom. Good, good. That's right, we don't get rewards for these ones. So I need... Do I actually just need 22, or do I need all of these things? Do I need... Can I... So that's fine. So how many of them do I want? Just a reactor fuel rod. Fuel. I just need some iron. <laughs> Story of my life. I'll have to go for a quick mining run uh, to see if I can get some iron. Or maybe I'll jump over to Chilled's base and see if he's got any. I don't think Chilled has been playing this pack. Uh, not sure... Oops, that's not what I want to do. Not sure what he's going to do now that um, Mod Colonies has shut down. We are currently looking... For another pack to play. Uh, got a few ideas, so we'll see what comes of that. There's a fuel rod. I need a control rod. This is where we use casings. Okay. So let's let's see what this does. Control. Control rod. Just need the piston. There's a piston. That's a basic thing. So I need to pick these casings up because they keep getting put away. Okay. And then solid access port. Popper piston chest. Hopper, got none. Okay, so oak. It's a hopper, that's a chest. There's the piston. Yeah, it's okay, so last item, solid access port, solid okay, so that is all of those quests, okay, now I need, also need a Active Forge Energy Power Tap. I'm burning all these. Um... Back to Active Forge Energy Power Tap. That one. Okay. 
I, I think I need more than these blocks. Right? Okay, so that's that. Start with a 3x3 three three layer of reactor casings. The next layer will have the reactor fuel rod at the center, basic controller power tap and access port. Okay, I'm gonna need um, gonna need a few more things here, but let's take this out here somewhere. And as I said, I'm burnt through the graphite. I probably should have sunk that in the ground. Uh, power tap can go there. Fuel rod there. Controller at the front. Goes on top. Access port there. So I need one, two, I need a bunch. This is where our power will come out. I'm going to need more graphite, a ton more graphite, it seems. I'm not sure how much I actually have in there. Let's grab these um, graphite. We've got a bit left. Seven. That's not enough, right? Because I need to do a whole top layer of eight and a couple around the side. Okay. I need one, two, three, four, five. I need five more. See what I've got here. I don't know if the the graphite is what I'm actually lacking here. I think it's um, I think it's iron. Pretty sure it's iron. Oh no, I am missing graphite as well because this is just one more, and I'm, yeah, so I'm still going to need a little bit more graphite. Uh, a bit. Bitumen, no. Charcoal, one. Oh, the blocks, that's cool. Uh, so yes, I still need some iron and I still need some graphite. Goodness me, this is um, a little more involved than I was expecting. That's full again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you be quiet. <coughs> We've got 18. This will, this will be full, right? Yeah. Two drums of gasoline already. Now got full drums of everything. All I want is uh, a little bit of nuclear power. All right, give me a few moments. I'll get the items I need to just finish this reactor off. Uh, otherwise, I'll be just sitting here wasting time. Uh, yeah, I'll get the items I need and I'll be back in a moment. Alrighty, I'm back. Uh, I ended up doing a mining run. I've just waiting for the crusher to finish then it just finally ticked over uh, made all the items that we needed we have extra casings this is now flashing a little orange a red light I should say uh, the book itself tells us to start with the 3 by 3 layer which is what I did uh, da, 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 da. yep okay raining space for the reactor casings very good final layer will be the control rod placed on top fuel rod in the center 
remaining eight bases with a casing. Cool. This reactor will take seven Eulorium ingots to fully fuel. It will only make roughly 180 RF a tick, which is still nothing to sneeze at. So I'm going to connect that there. And I'm going to go here and I'm going to put the fuel in. And so it's fully, well, it's not quite full, but let's turn it on. Very basic, it's producing power, holds 270,000, I don't know, 270k FE, so 1,000 for Genji. Um, cool, it is a very basic version of the old um, reactor, big reactors mod, isn't it? Uh, it's reasonably efficient. Producing 184 for Gen Energy Tick. And um, yeah, that's that's not too bad. So I probably need to work out a way of getting um, it to turn on and off. I don't know if it will. Let's just say off. It will continue generating for a while. And then I guess. There we go, slowly depleting. So there you go, we've we've now got fuel, or power I should say, from, from this guy. Uh, we could look at that extreme, I was saying like redstone ports. Uh, it's going to take a, some more casings and like, I'm not sure why it's four casings for one item. That's, that's pretty dodgy as far as I'm concerned. If, if you're putting four casings in, you should get four of that item. But anyway, or at least two. Uh, but yeah, so we've got a little basic reactor. It's going to take a little bit of Eulorium. Uh, so if you remember, Eulorium is gasoline with uranium grits. So got a little bit of gasoline and, and like, you know, we do need some ways of doing this. So you should be gasoline. There we go. There's a couple of buckets of it. That'll let that process a little bit more. And with the uranium B that I've got uh, turning into grit, I'm not having it smelt so that we can... Oop, hello game. Can't put the graphite in. We can do uranium. Good. So there is a little bit of eulorium dust uh, and uses of this. We're going to get one for one nether quartz. Quartz. There we go. In the arc reactor, which... Arc furnace, I should say. Which isn't... Um, isn't super exciting of a recipe. But I should be able to turn this on. On. And it's going to produce power. And it's holding its own. Oh, let's just put my torches down. Yeah, drawing it out pretty quick. It's not generating its own light. The diesel gen puts out quite a lot of power, whatever it is, 4096. So the diesel gen itself. Um, in terms of power is is worth running that would allow this to fill and then this will be finished now so everything will be going oh I have too much power but that'll th this will keep things um, going for a little bit so pretty much what this is saying just says if the buffer is full any newly generated energy is lost so I don't think there's an explosion mechanic, and I'm not about to test that. I don't believe there's an explosion mechanic in this with this mod. It will just, I'll just void it, right? So, putting all the eulorium in, um, and it'll just void. So this will eject waste when it gets some. A little bit. 
a little bit of waste there. But there's that's our yeah a new a new power setup. Let's us um, let's tick that box and get the rewards. Potion of lava vision, whatever that is. So obviously we could go to a bigger reactor which has like five fuel rods and uh, five by five makes roughly three thousand one hundred and seventy-five RF a tick. Again, not not nothing to sneeze at, and and that'll keep us ticking along. All right. So what do we do next episode now? Well, we've got you know basic power. Maybe we should look at refined storage. It's it's a possibility. I mean, this the simple storage um, setup is pretty good and free. All right, you you can't you can't get past free. Still got to do this guy. Some sea lanterns, which I don't have at the moment. But yes, definitely got a few more items. Charge book in here. Lava vision potion. All right, so yeah, next episode, what, what should we work towards? Do I do advanced storage? I mean, processor bindings cheaper. Look, I can do that right now. Processor binding. Thanks very much. All right, so that's that's a quest done. Uh, now I want basic processor, uh, raw and advanced. Okay, so cool. So one of them. One of them. One of them. I don't have a lot of diamonds. So I don't want to, don't want to waste these guys. Uh, let's see if I can put these in here. Yep, good. One, two, three. There's some quests. Burning the quests through. Ooh, my first diamond coin. And then straight into making a controller. So controller needs the diamond, needs some um, more, needs some more quartz enriched iron. And that, that to me, like normal quartz enriched iron is, is a, is three iron, one quartz, and you get four. This is, this is expensive. If I do say so myself, this is super expensive. Don't think there's a quartz enriched iron B. Got plenty of quartz, got a little bit of iron. But, you know, to get this quartz enriched iron, what do we currently have? We've got four. I need at least eight for the controller. Uh, so I actually need, need 12. So I've got four, I need another eight iron. And 16 quartz. As I said, it's actually quite expensive. Actually quite expensive. What are the uses for slag in this pack? Concrete. Sand. Liquid concrete. Yeah, I don't know. What can we get for those coins? Like this ring for a diamond coin? I mean, what else are we going to do with it? I can hand in this and get 10 levels, or I can... 
Boost your speed, increase your armor. Why not? Let's do it. Curious ring. E. Get haste. Nice. How are you doing? Getting pretty full. Trying that out pretty quick. Oh, this is still running. Off. Okay. So, ooh, I am a little bit quicker now, aren't I? Let's see really quickly if we can just make this controller and then we will wrap up. Machine casing. One controller. Nicely done. Find storage is underway. And then we can get into grids and cables and disk drives and start storing our stuff. Don't get me wrong. Um, this setup down here using the draw system, I will keep it because we can reference it with the, the RS. Um, I do need to get more power down here so I can actually run this thing. Unless I just hook the controller like here or something and LV connect it. I don't know. How much is that going to reuse? And is LV enough? Come on. It's pairing up. Cool. I mean, we can do it. Usage is zero, it's not using any power. Then we can, you know, put storage buses, etc., and run cabling, and we'll see how we go. I may move that yet. But I think uh, that's probably a good place to wrap up. Made ourselves a nice little reactor. Something to just sort of tickle over the power. And again, as it says, it's only a um, fairly low amount of power. Uh, but it is power nonetheless. So until next time. Thank you all for watching. Comments down below. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you then. Bye now.